Welcome back to Photosynthesis on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for future videos and notifications. All right, so in the previous video, we talked about the chlorophyll cycle. And we saw that in plants, that's the cycle by which they interconvert chlorophylls A and B. All right, and that's a way of balancing the pigment needs of the plant, okay? Now, in this video, we're gonna see how chlorophyll is degraded. It turns out that the main chlorophyll that gets degraded is going to be chlorophyll A. Okay, in general, when you want to degrade chlorophyll, the chlorophyll B needs to be converted back to A. That's the major pathway. So for the most part, remember chlorophyll A has this methyl group. For the most part, you can consider this R group up here as just a methyl group. Okay, um, in any case, we'll have to ultimately reduce the aldehyde here that would be present in chlorophyll B back to the methyl group. That's going to have, have to happen regardless. So we're going to assume this is chlorophyll A. And it turns out that chlorophyllase um, is going to hydrolyze off this phytyl side chain. We actually saw chlorophyllase in the chlorophyll cycle. Okay, that was enzyme one right here. And it turns out that chlorophyllase is going to catalyze the initial step in the degradation of chlorophyll. When we hydrolyze off that phytyl side chain, we get the chlorophyllide. If this was chlorophyll A, which it mostly is, then this will be chlorophyllide A. Okay? Now, there's another enzyme here referred to as magnesium dechelatase, okay? Magnesium dechelatase, which we're going to go into a little more detail on the next slide, notice what it does. It takes the magnesium that's chelated in the center here of the chlorine ring and removes it. You actually don't see that magnesium over here. Remember what a chelatase is, is something that inserts a transition metal or some other metal. Um, in this case, it's not a transition metal, it's magnesium. A dechelatase removes that metal, okay? And they're usually removing it from some kind of macro cycle like this, okay? And we're going to go into a little more detail on that in the next, uh, in the next uh, slide. But one thing I want to point your attention to is this. And I, I like this figure a lot. Chlorophyll A, for the most part chlorophyll B, and then the chlorophyllides and theophorbide A the product of magnesium dechelatase, okay? These three molecules emit green, okay? In fact, it's mainly these three molecules right here that are actually going to uh, produce the green color that you see on leaves, okay? That's why the green color, this little line, extends to right here. So all three of these molecules, they're present in very high amounts in the plants, particularly these two right here, and especially the chlorophyll, but they contribute to the green color because they emit green, okay? When we react with magnesium dechelatase, we're going to get this molecule, which is called pheophorbide A, okay? Pheophorbide A um, is the product where we don't, it's basically chlorophyllide A without the magnesium in the center. We're going to react it with pheophorbide oxygenase, and that's going to break apart the ring, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But first, let's look into magnesium dechelatase. Magnesium dechelatase is a really critical enzyme for photosystem 2 in particular. Okay, here's why. Now, in chlorophyll degradation, magnesium chelatase reacts with the chlorophyllide, the molecule that already has its phytyl side chain removed. However, there's another reaction that magnesium dechelatase can do, and it does the same reaction removing the magnesium, but it does it from chlorophyll A, the initial molecule. So look at this molecule right here. This is chlorophyll A, has the phytyl side chain, but the only difference is it lacks that magnesium in the center. So when magnesium dechelatase reacts with chlorophyll A, you end up getting a molecule called a pheophyton. Now, if you remember from Photosystem 2, we heard about pheophyton. Pheophyton is actually the electron acceptor from excited P680. That's pheophyton. That's this molecule right here. Okay? So it turns out that actually making some of this pheophyton is actually critical for the function of Photosystem 2. So if we have a chlorophyllide and we dechelate that magnesium, that goes into the catabolic pathway. However, if we dechelate chlorophyll A, we get pheophyton, and that's important for the photosynthetic function. So um, we have this concept that these uh, organisms of all kinds are just like, um, the, the way they're sort of described is like the Native American. Native Americans ate the bison, right? They used every part of the bison. They ate the meat, they used the fur, um, they used the bladder, everything was used. 
that's sort of the way these organisms are. They're going to use everything possible. They're not just going to build everything from scratch. They're not going to build pheophyton from scratch. They're going to use pre-existing chlorophyll, dechelate it, and get pheophyton. Okay? And that's going to be the electron acceptor for P680. All right? But after we dechelate chlorophyllide A, we get pheophorbide A. And it turns out that pheophorbide A is going to be oxygenated. Okay, it's going to react with pheophorbide oxygenase, and that's going to give you, it's going to first of all break apart this ring. Okay, now remember, pheophorbide A is green. It emits green, right? That's part of what contributes to the uh, plant's leaves color. And the reason it's able to do that is just because of the nature of these conjugated double bonds. However, when we break open this ring, it breaks that conjugation at this point up here. And so it changes from emitting green to emitting red, thus RCC, which stands for red chlorophyll catabolite. So this emits red, all right, and it breaks the electronic conjugation, and you get RCC. And there's another enzyme called red chlorophyll catabolite reductase, and this enzyme basically takes this double bond right here and reduces it. Red chlorophyll catabolite reductase gives you this molecule over here, which is called primary fluorescent chlorophyll catabolite. And this is the main degradation product of the chlorophyll, and there are ways it can get rid of that. And there are some times that various things also happen to that molecule, but in general, this is your end product, and the chlorophyll has completely been broken apart at that point from the plant's perspective. Okay? Now, you might say, okay, well, this is the red chlorophyll catabolite. That must be what causes leaves to turn red in autumn, or fall, whatever you want to call it. And you'd be absolutely wrong. Okay, yes, chlorophyll gets catabolized and you get production of red chlorophyll catabolite, but that's not what causes leaves to turn like red and orange. Okay, remember in plants there are also, if you remember, carotenoids, other light absorbing pigments, and they tend to emit in the red and orange, and in some cases yellow parts of the visible spectrum. So what ends up happening is whenever you get to the autumn month, okay, autumn, fall, and so forth, whenever that happens and chlorophyll starts to be degraded, and yes, it will get degraded into red chlorophyll catabolite, the problem is, is that's not what causes it to be red. The carotenoids do not get catabolized that way. So you're losing all the green color, you're losing all of this, but you still have the carotenoids that remain. And so the carotenoids, their, uh, I guess you could say, contribution to the overall color starts to pr uh, predominate. And so that's why the leaves turn red. It's because the chlorophyll is being degraded, but you still have the carotenoids that are there. Okay? And then in the winter months, you get abs leaf abscission, which we'll talk about later. Okay? But hopefully that makes a little bit of sense in this terms of this chlorophyll degradation. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for future videos and notifications. Thank you.